Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I am Francisco, and today we're diving into an essential topic, and that's to unlock your Samsung device without losing your data. Maybe you've forgotten your password, your fingerprint isn't working, or you're locked out for another reason. In this video, we're going to show you six easy and effective ways to bypass a Samsung lock screen with minimal hassle. Make sure to stick around until the end to find a method that's best for you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. Method number one, fastest way to unlock locked Samsung with Dr. Phone Screen Unlock for Android. The first method we will be using is Dr. Phone Screen Unlock for Android. It is a trusted toolkit designed for Android devices and makes unlocking your Samsung phone straightforward, fast, and best of all. This tool works by removing various types of screen locks, whether it's a pin, pattern, password, or even fingerprint lock, without affecting any of your important files, photos, or apps. This is a highly effective solution, particularly if you're looking for a quick and user-friendly approach to unlocking your device. This tool is also compatible with a wide range of Samsung models, so it's versatile and reliable for most users. Let me go ahead and walk you through the steps to unlock your Samsung device with Dr. Phone Screen Unlock for Android. First, download the Dr. Phone on screen unlock for Android toolkit from its official website and install it on your computer. After installation, open the application and select screen unlock from the toolbox tab. Then just connect your locked Samsung device to the computer using a USB cable and choose Android as the phone type. Next, choose unlock Android screen, then select Samsung as a brand and click on remove without data loss to proceed. Now enter the mobile information including brand, device name, and device model. Then select the I agree with the warning and and am ready to proceed checkbox and click next. Now following this, acknowledge the warning message by inputting the code 0000000 and selecting confirm. Next, place your Android phone into download mode to begin the screen unlocking procedure. After the phone is successfully unlocked, click done to finalize the process. Method number two, Google login, which supports only Android 4.4 or lower. The second method we will go through is using the Google login option, which is available only for devices running Android 4.4 or lower. It allows you to unlock your phone by using your Google account credentials to reset your lock screen, password, or pattern. If your device meets the criteria, let's go through the steps to unlock your Samsung device using your Google login. Start by entering an incorrect screen lock multiple times until you see the forgot pattern option. Tapping this option will take you to the next screen, where you will be asked to answer the security question or enter the Google details. So choose the Google account option and enter the email address and password associated with the Google account link to your locked device. After successfully logging in, you'll be prompted to set a new password or unlock method. Follow the on-screen instructions to create a new lock screen pattern or PIN. Method number three, unlock locked pattern or password through the SD card. Next is our third method, unlocking your Samsung device using an SD card. This method is a bit more technical and requires a dedicated unlocker and a memory card. It only works if your Android device is locked by a pattern lock or password lock. This method typically involves using a PC to prepare the SD card, so it may require a bit of patience and technical know-how. This is how you can do it. You will need to download Aroma File Manager and place it on your SD card. Now, insert the card into your locked Samsung device. Next, open Stock Recovery Mode by rebooting your phone and pressing the Power and Volume Up keys simultaneously. After entering Recovery Mode, use the Volume keys to access Access install zip from SD card. Navigate to where you place Aroma File Manager, tap and install it. Once it is installed, it will open up in recovery mode. From the Aroma File Manager, navigate to Settings and scroll to the bottom to choose Auto Mount All Devices on Start. Afterward, exit to move to Install Zip from SD card and install Aroma File Manager again. It will again open in recovery mode and you now need to access the data folder. Next, move to the System folder to find the gesture.key or password.key for pattern lock or password lock respectively. So just delete the related file and exit Aroma File Manager before rebooting the device. Your lock screen will no longer be effective, giving you unrestricted access. Method number four, delete the password file using ADB. Moving on, the next method to unlock your Samsung device without data loss is using ADB. Using Android Debug Bridge requires a bit of technical know-how, but can be highly effective. It allows you to communicate with your device from your computer, enabling you to execute commands that can help you remove the lock screen. 
This method requires USB debugging to be enabled in your device beforehand, and in most cases, the phone also needs to be rooted. Let's dive into the steps to delete the password file using ADB. If you haven't already, download and install the ADB platform tools on your computer. You can find these tools in the official Android developer website. Next, use a USB cable to connect your locked Samsung device to your computer. On your computer, open the command prompt and navigate to the folder where ADB is installed. Now type the command ADB start dash server to launch the ADB server. Next, use ADB devices to display a list of devices connected in debugging mode. Then access the ADB shell by entering ADB shell and navigate to the directory containing relevant files with the command cd space slash data slash system. Find the lock settings dot db file and open it through the following commands. You have to enter sqlite3 and then dot open space lock settings dot db and finally dot tables by doing this you will gain access to the lock settings table that contains the device's lock information any changes should be made exclusively to this table to view the table's contents execute the command select from lock settings select space star space from space lock settings one word to unlock the device, find the file named lockscreen.password underscore type and set its value to zero. You can accomplish this by using the command below, which is update space lock settings, one word, space set space value space equals zero, where name. The commands will also show on screen. And then lockscreen.password underscore type. To complete the process, execute the command adb reboot to restart your device. It will be unlocked once it powers back on. Method number five, boot into safe mode. The next method is useful if you're using a third-party app as your lock screen. By starting your device in safe mode, you can temporarily disable all third-party applications. This solution will not work if you're using the built-in lock mechanism on your Samsung. Booting into safe mode does not erase any data or settings on your device. Here is how you can use this solution. Begin by pressing the volume down and power keys for three seconds to bring up the power menu. Now press and hold the power off button until it turns into safe mode which you need to select. Once the Samsung device boots into safe mode, move to settings and find the third-party lock app in the apps tab. Finally, uninstall the app and reboot your phone to complete this operation. Method number six, use the emergency call method to unlock Samsung device. Finally, let's explore our sixth method, using the emergency call feature to unlock your Samsung device. This method is applicable for devices running Android 5.0, Lollipop, or lower. It exploits a vulnerability in earlier Android versions, allowing users to bypass the lock screen through the emergency call function. As always, it's essential to understand that this method is not foolproof and may not work on all devices. Following steps are needed for this approach. Begin by powering on your Samsung device to reach the lock screen. On the lock screen, tap on the emergency call option. This will open the emergency dialer. Now enter a sequence of asterisks into the dialer. Keep adding asterisks until the field reaches its maximum capacity. Next, tap the asterisk string twice to highlight it, then choose copy. Next, press the input field again. Paste the asterisk and repeat the process of copying and pasting until the field reaches its character limit. Afterward, return to the lock screen and launch the camera app. Then pull down the notification bar and select the gear icon to open settings. When asked for a password, copy the series of asterisks into the password field. Continue pasting the string repeatedly until the lock screen freezes and crashes. It will give you access to the zoomed in camera app, which will also crash, granting you access to the home screen. And then you should be good to go from there. And with that, we have reached the end of this informative video. We've explored six effective methods to bypass the Samsung lock screen without losing your valuable data. From using tools like Dr. Phone Screen Unlock for Android and Google Login to leveraging built-in features such as safe mode and the emergency call method, there are various options available to you. We hope this video has empowered you with the knowledge to regain access to your device. If you found these tips helpful, please make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech insights and tutorials. Have any questions or experiences to share? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we will see you on the next video.